a while back, I did a video on bodysuits. Here are some things that ended up on the cutting room floor. Zentai suit. Here in Japan, there is a trend known as Zentai. It's a portmanteau of the words Zenshu, which means full body, and Taitsu, which means tights. So the trend involves full body tights, often with colors and interesting patterns. And most of the time, the full face is covered. While this is a trend in Japan, this definitely isn't something you'd probably see every day. But there are people who wear this. And there's a whole adult subgenre of content of people wearing these. It's one thing seeing people wear these in a mocap or green screen or some type of performance, but just seeing people wear this out in public, it's just bizarre. Let me know if this is your jam in the comments down below. Fursuits. Bodysuits designed to mimic the appearance of furry animals are called fursuits, and they are popular among the furry fandom, which are people who enjoy dressing up as anthropomorphic animals. And these suits can cost in the thousands of dollars to create. Unlike mascot suits and suits of other organizations or companies, these are usually made to feature an original character. This strange fandom has its roots in the 70s. Its name was coined in the 80s. It became even more popular in the 90s, and it still exists to this day. So when are you picking up your fursuit? Thong bodysuit. The invention of the thong bathing suit is attributed to designer Rudy Gernrich. It was a unisex design and it was the first bathing suit without a built-in bra. Gernrich's designs were considered innovative for the time and they were in an effort to expand beyond what he considered to be the confines of the high fashion world. He wanted to advance sexual freedom. In an effort to demonstrate this, he created the monokini. It has a close fitting bottom with no top, just two straps that wrap around the neck. Band sports suit. In the world of competitive swimming, there are bodysuits made with high tech fabrics meant to reduce drag and to enhance performance. One of the most notable iterations, the laser racer was so good, it was considered technical doping and it led to all of these types of bodysuits being banned. It reduced drag by more than 25%, repelled water, increased oxygen flow, and it was even said to increase flexibility. To put things in perspective as to how impactful the laser racer was, it debuted in February 2008. The next month, March 2008, Swimmers who had been wearing this suit broke 13 world swimming records. By August 2009, 93 world swimming records were shattered by people wearing this suit. Measuring Suit Zozo Town is Japan's largest online clothing marketplace. It hosts international and domestic brands. As early as 2017, Zozo Town created something quite unique. It was their Zozo suit. This biometric bodysuit was originally created so customers could accurately measure their bodies and order clothing online with a near custom fit. However, in November 2018, just one year later, Zozo Town would discontinue their support for the Zozo suit. As it turns out, the Zozo suit was quite an ambitious move. Getting the right fit for a piece of clothing is more than just matching numbers. But all is not lost. They pivoted to Zozo Fit, now working with countries around the world for this new project. This version of the suit is more centered around fitness and can document the body's measurements down to an error of only 3.7 millimeters. 
And that is all I have for you today. This one's a short one because I've been working on all types of designs and pieces and I can't wait to show them to you. But in the meantime, in between time, if you want to support the channel and take a look at our bodysuits, you can take a look at them and anything else we offer on Imogene.com. And as always, if you like this video, hit the like button, share this with everyone you know, and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Peace.